Hey guys, it's November 2nd, 10.51 a.m. I'm done trading for the uh, intraday portion of the market, and I was, but I was just taking a look at NIO. I traded ANPC this morning, and I was just taking a look at this because a lot of people were talking about it, and it's not something I would have traded just because it's out of the price range that I'm trading in right now, but uh, I noticed that it has a uh, perfect a textbook three-bar play and um, the guy that, that kind of coined that phrase, as far as I know, and, and has the best lessons on them is Jared Wesley at Live Traders on YouTube. No affiliation. I don't know the guy, but uh, I learned a ton from him. And, and everything, basically everything I'm going to tell you today uh, is from his teaching. So I'm not trying to say, like, this is my theory or, or something I came up with myself. Um, it's basically based on everything he teaches. But I have people on my YouTube page ask me questions about three bar plays all the time. So here's one that I didn't actually trade, but I'm going to talk you through it. And we're going to pretend like, you know, it's, we're watching this, uh, NIO, um, from the market open and, and see this three bar play and how you could have played this. And, and it would have been a very easy trade. I, I can guarantee you. And I can tell you that, but based on the way these candles ended up forming, um, but basically, if you were watching this thing at the open, because a lot of people are talking about NIO, and uh, let's see what it did in the pre-market. It, it you know did a really nice run up in the pre-market, so it would have been on the um, top gainers. So there's a lot of reasons to watch it. So so now you're watching this thing at the open, and it doesn't do anything. If you you know sometimes I put in orders to try to catch pops that break the. Um, the, pre the previous candle right before the open, this didn't do it, so I'd still be watching it and just seeing it chop around. And there's really not not many entries um, that I would take because you know this candle's so big here. I wouldn't take you know the break of a one minute candle. Um, but actually, you can look at that as kind of like the first potential three bar play. And uh, it, the rule of the three bar play, one of the major rules is that you you buy for the break of the high of one of the uh, the highest of the two candles, the first two candles. So you would have had to put in an order for the break of this candle, the highest 3393. Your entry would have been 3394 and it doesn't trigger. So it's a this one's a failed three bar play, but you wouldn't have lost any money in it because you wouldn't have got in it. And that's that's the way you play the three bar play. Now you're you're still watching this thing, and it, it's basically consolidating. It's chopping around. Um, there's not a lot. Of, there there's maybe an entry here, not a three bar play entry, but for the break of a one minute candle that that kind of takes off. Whether you took that or not, um, let's say you missed all that stuff, and you just get into the to the stock at this point, and you just notice, okay, this thing's just trading sideways. It's consolidating, but I'm going to keep an eye on it. Everybody's talking about it. Now here is the first bar of the, a potential three bar play right you don't know it's a three bar play yet because you haven't seen the other bars form but every three bar play starts with the first bar as a big engulfing um, green candle which means you know it it can t take up as much space as uh you know many candles before it if they were kind of stacked on top of each other so anyway uh, this thing's consolidating. You see this big, big green candle form. One of the uh, big rules that uh, Jared Wesley teaches is that for it to be a real three bar play, it must be the beginning of a new direction, right? So this is, direction is sideways. So anything up or down is a new direction. This is going up. So it's the first bar of, of a three bar play in the new direction, potentially, right? So then the second bar forms. Here's the next stipulation is that the second bar can't be any bigger than 50% of the first bar, right? Which would bring it down to about here. It doesn't come anywhere near there. So you know, okay, so far this is looking like a great three bar play. And right as this candle's closing or right before the candle's closing, like let's say 10 seconds before it closes, you got to get a stop order in really quick in order to catch the break of this candle. The high is 34 um, 34. Let's pretend this wasn't ready and, and let's see how, how long, you know, it takes to, to put it in an order. So 34, 34, we're going to get in at 34, 35, stop limit 34, 35. And let's say the spread was about, I think it was about four cents around that time. So 34, 40, and then you place your order, boom, you're in, your, your order's in, 
and it only gets filled if the next candle breaks that 3435. And does it? Yes, it does. So already you're in the profit um, almost 30 cents on that one candle because you would have gotten filled probably around 3436. So that's 30 cent profit. But even if it was at 40 cents, um, you're still at a nice profit. Then the next thing to do is I, what I would have done there was sell half, okay? Um, somewhere around the top of that candle. As soon as I feel like this upward momentum is, is slowing, you know, like let's say this thing kind of shoots up real quick and then it starts bouncing around, I would sell half. So you might not get the full uh, 3466. It might be around 3464 or 62, whatever. But you've, you've locked in some profit and that's the idea. Next thing you would do is put in a stop order a sell stop order and at this point like let's say the candles right there I would place it for the low of this candle which is 3416 like that place the order now you're gonna have a little bubble that says sell or actually it's gonna say STP and it's gonna be in red and it's gonna sell if the price drops down to 3416 now the candles are still forming oh look they're forming higher so what I would do at this point let's say like while this candle's forming i would bring the stop up here once this candle's formed i'd bring the stop up to the bottom of that candle now you're in the green on your remaining shares you're guaranteed to make a nice profit off of this thing then this candle forms you bring you drag the stop all you have to do is left click on the the order right on the chart and uh, you can move it around up and down and you move it now to the bottom of this candle and then on the next candle, it would trigger your stop and you would be done with the trade and it would have stopped you out at 34.66 again. So you essentially would have made the same thing as if you would have sold it all at the top here. Um, but that, which would be an awesome trade. It's like a 30 cent move and the, and the matter of uh, the whole three bar play, one, two, three, four minutes, basically. So uh, that's how you do a three bar play. Um, like I said, um, I didn't actually do trade this one because, you know, it wasn't something I was going to be trading anyway. But uh, just looking at it in hindsight, I just noticed that that this was like a perfect three bar play. And like I said, it would have been easy to trade because the way these candles formed, there wasn't a whole lot of choppiness here. So anyway, that's it for the uh, three bar play tutorial. I hope you guys got something out of it. If I missed anything or you didn't understand anything please leave a question in the comments below. Good luck out there.